Chicken coming in. Oh, what's going on? We're just wrapping up some treasure collected by the Blue Peter office and this evening it'll be winging its way to our appeal depot. It'll join the pile of booty which we hope will eventually be so big that it'll provide enough money to buy six brand new Blue Peter lifeboats. And the pile has already started growing because we contacted our sorters at the appeal depot this morning and they said they received 120 mail bags today. So we're off to a good start. We are indeed. Well, in case you missed last Thursday's programme, we're having a treasure hunt. And our treasure are things like this. Old bits of costume jewellery, for example. Let's see what's in here. Some watches, probably ones that don't work. Beads. What else? Now, this looks like an unwanted gift, but we want it. Even odd earrings. If you've lost an earring, but you've got one, we'll have the other one. And in here, there's all bits of brass that's all battered and unused. Some of them, I don't even know what they are. But there's old keys as well and some... Um, buttons as well. Now, it doesn't matter what it is, providing it's brass, we'll have it. Yes, please. In here, forks, spoons, condiment holders, jugs, all made out of metal. If you've got anything like this, please send it in. And in here, old postcards, commemorative stamps. They're the ones with the pictures on top. Old coins, foreign coins. And this is of particular interest because yesterday was Remembrance Sunday. And this is an old uh, a medal, a medal from the First World War. Very interesting and we would like to have that, please. Now, the point of our piece of eight appeal is that if we can collect enough things, we shall be able to sell them for a lot of money. Now, one piece of costume jewellery like this isn't really worth that much, but this whole tray is worth a few pounds and a lorry load would be worth thousands of pounds. So many people watch Blue Peter that if everybody sends us just one or two things, we'll end up with loads of lorry loads to send it all in. Get it in. Yes, Coming please. up on today's show, all the latest news about the pieces of aid appeal, plus there'll be a world-class performance from Britain's top trampolinists. First, Anthea's pop down the road. Just off to the post office to go and deliver my goodies to the Blue Peter pieces of eight appeal. Come on, Bonnie. Hello there. First class morning, isn't it, this morning? Certainly. Now then, out. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, hello. Um, do you know the difference between a rhinoceros and a post box? No. I'm not going to give you any letters to post. <laughs> off, off, off. Here. What about some service around here? Look, the dog's asking as well. Hi, boy. Yes, sir. Now, is it road tax you require, or a new passport, or a TV license? Or perhaps it's your pension you're after? <laughs> Actually, I want to post this. It's for the Blue Peter appeal. Oh, is it? Where does it say that? Here, on the label. Postman Pat, can't you read? I'm afraid I can't possibly accept that. Why not? It's what they asked for. Well, I'm sure it is. But it hasn't got an address, so we wouldn't know where to send it to. And look, it's got all bits sticking out of it, and I'm sure that would wreck our sorting machine. Now, I suggest you go back home and you wrap it properly. Sorry. Have you quite finished now? Thank you very much. Um, I'd like to post this, please. How much will it cost? Oh, Blue Peter appeal. Absolutely nothing. It's free post. That's a special offer for the pieces of eight appeal. Oh, thank you. And young man, I suggest you take one of these handy leaflets and always remember to address your packages properly and always write the postcode on clearly. It's ever so easy to remember. BH11BP. And I suppose you've got a lifeboat outside as well. I have actually. Do you want to lift? Come on, Bonnie. Thank you. We want lots of parcels of treasure, enough to buy six of these lifeboats to replace our Blue Peter boats, which are wearing out. This one, Blue Peter 4, is in such a bad state, it's had to be taken out of service already. The Blue Peter boats were first bought with money raised by viewers in 1966. Perhaps your parents joined in then. Well, since then, Blue Peter viewers have twice raised enough money to replace worn-out boats and buy extra ones. That's what the 1993 appeal is all about, making sure our six Blue Peter lifeboats will last into the next millennium. The lifeboats are needed to rescue people who get into trouble in the coast around the British Isles. The crews, nearly all unpaid volunteers, go to sea in all kinds of conditions. 
risking their own lives to rescue people in danger of dying at sea. Our Blue Peter boats have so far saved 707 people. Two families from Stoke-on-Trent have good reason to thank the crew of Blue Peter 4 at St Agnes in Cornwall, and they were just out for a walk on a summer's day. We were on holiday in St Agnes, and we decided, like, me and Paul, this family and my family, we'd go down to the beach. They said, we only got to go around this corner. So we went around this corner, and, like, there was loads of water. And one minute, one next, the sea was there, right on us. Nothing about it, so we had to carry on walking, like. And he said, oh, it's all right, the waters, because I was a bit timid about the water, and he says, oh, don't worry. He says, Luke, it's only coming to my ankles. So, um we were going over the rocks and within a matter of seconds it was like up to my knees my sister callie she had she found a piece of rope and she tied it around me and samantha and because we were scared and then he says to me give me your hand because i was on a little rock he says give me your hand and i'll help you up so he helped me up and it come up to my waist well that was it i was terrified then i was petrified and as we turn, he says, Luke, we've only got to turn the corner. Once we turn the corner, the beach is there. So we turned the corner and it was about 30 foot deep. And my heart just went. I thought, oh, we're going to die. I thought straight away, the kids, we're going to die. And we could see they couldn't get around, but they couldn't see from there. So I went down and told the life men that they were stuck. One of the life blokes shouted over on his loud speaking, could you, could you try to turn back and go back to the way you've come, please? We shouted, no, we couldn't, so he goes, hang on to where you are. And within seconds, a flare had gone up. It took about less, less than two minutes, and they were all there. And we could see the lifeboat and the relief. I, if I could have got older than men, I would have, you know, give them a kiss, because the relief straight away was there. The lifeboat came and all the children went in first, and then all the mums and dads went in. We owe our lives to the lifeboat, Blue Peter lifeboat. The Blue Peter boats are spread right round the coasts. Blue Peter 4, stationed in St Agnes in Cornwall, has saved 127 lives. Blue Peter 1 is at Little Hampton, where it saved the lives of 322 people, including 12-year-old Abigail Martin, who described her ideal in Thursday's programme. This is swimmers in travel on the West Beach. Well, the minute that um, it was wrong to the minute it got to us, about 15 minutes. When the lifeboat arrived, I felt so safe because they looked so big and I thought they were just um, they would be able to save us. And even if I let go, they'll be able to come out and swim and save me and Brian. We saw Abigail uh, clinging to the pile. Les took me in as close as we could, went over the sides, um, swam towards Abigail. Picked her off of the bright water. She was uh, quite happy to see me, I think. Without these guys, I don't think I'd be here today. Thank you very much for coming out of your boat. Blue Peter 2 is at Beaumaris in Wales, where the lifeboat has saved 146 lives. Blue Peter 3 is at North Berwick in Scotland, where it saved 82 lives. Blue Peter 5, which has been on station seven years at Port of Ferry, Northern Ireland, has saved 18 lives. The new Blue Peter 6 will be stationed at Cleethorpes on Humberside, which will become our newest Blue Peter lifeboat station. And these are the kind of boats that we hope our appeal will provide and last well into the next century. On my left is a D-class inshore lifeboat. It's fast, manoeuvrable and able to get close to those rocky shorelines to rescue people like the Stevens family. On my right is an Atlantic 75. It's seven and a half metres of pure marine muscle. It's got two mighty 70 horsepower engines at the stern and they will whack this lifeboat through the water as quickly as possible. It's got a rigid hull, that's the hull, and it's got an inflatable man-made rubber tube that's really tough. And this is the latest version of a very successful design which has saved hundreds of lives over the years. A lot of money is going to be needed to buy all six boats, but with your help, I know we can do it. Don't forget, every single penny helps 
every package, no matter how small, will help us buy the new boats. Now, this is our pieces of eight appeal totalizer, and I can see the treasure chest right at the top there, and it needs 500,000 packages of treasure to finally get to the top, but I know we can do it. And let's hope that we can get to the first step by Thursday's program. Now, if you've got any treasure that you want to send in, the address to send it to is Blue Peter Appeal, Free Post, Royal Mail Bournemouth, BH1, 1BP. I'll just repeat that. That's Blue Peter Appeal, Free Post, Royal Mail Bournemouth, BH1, 1BP. And remember, it doesn't cost a penny to send your package. Coming up soon, highlights from the Lord Mayor's show, which we took part in at the weekend. But before that, we go to Warsaw and Poland, or rather, a bit of Poland comes to us in the shape of a choir. They're here in Britain to give three concerts this week, including one at Westminster Cathedral. With just six weeks until Christmas, this might be the first carol you've heard this year. It's from Sir